Now, your Storm Alert Team Forecast from meteorologist Brittany Foster. Good Thursday morning, everyone. The day is here and we're finally getting some much needed moisture across the area. This is a look in Beatrice right now. Our show and roofing camera showing you just saw a car churn there. Didn't seem to slide at all. The main roads overall across really most of southeast Nebraska were treated very nicely yesterday, but residential roads that's what I'm concerned about. If you also notice, you could see those snow flurries flying around in Beatrice down to the south Gage County, where those darker sections of blue have been moving through on radar. That's some heavier snow that's been continuing to fall really along those southern counties across the area this morning. Further to the north you go, we're getting more breaks between the snow and just lighter snow in general. That's why along I-80, we're not seeing as much snow covered roads as further down to the south and also we will see lighter accumulation totals overall by the end of this event. Now, what happened? Why are we not seeing as high as snow totals anymore? It's because as yesterday, we were kind of noting and picking up on it just a little bit that we were seeing a little bit of a southern shift with the overall track of the system. That's exactly what ended up happening. You can see these darker sections of blue here are on the Kansas side. Now they will kind of cut into the southern counties across southeastern Nebraska. That's why we still are expecting some pretty decent snowfall to our south. But as for Lincoln itself, we have dropped the totals just a tad. And as we look at 5 a.m. through the next few hours, notice how we continue to see those snow showers pushing through noon. We really start to see the Tri-Cities drying out eastern half of the area, still dealing with snow showers. But as we head into 2, 3 o'clock, eventually the snow exits the state, leaving us with drier conditions. So we still could see more accumulation until we get to 12 to 3 o'clock as the last of these showers push out. But this is what we're expecting in terms of our snow totals north of really Lancaster County and northern Lancaster County in general, stretching just to the south of Greeley, a trace up to an inch. Now notice how I have it kind of cutting through Lincoln, the one to three line and around a trace to an inch. I still think some of us could see around Lincoln an inch, maybe a little higher. Others around Lincoln, depending on where you live, could see a little less than that. But definitely the further to the south that you go, you will see higher snow totals. Beatrice, Hebron, Red Cloud, you are still in that four, potentially up to seven inch range for snow. It really just depends on the snow bands that push through. So keep that in mind. It's a light and fluffy snow, which is good news as you're out later today shoveling. As you're doing that, make sure you're bundled up. Here's our wind chill values right now in the single digits. Feels like four in Kearney, six in Hebron and York's nine degrees is what it feels like in Lincoln. So bundle up now and even later today. High temperatures. Well, for most of us, they're going to fall short of the 30s, upper 20s with maybe a little bit of sunshine trying to peek through as we end off the day today. And we'll continue to see clearing skies into the overnight hours. That'll help temperatures drop down the low to mid teens with breezy wind speeds into tomorrow morning and throughout your Friday. Very windy with highs in the low 30s. Keep in mind, wind chill values are going to be in the 20s and teens for most of the day. Still pretty breezy and chilly on Saturday. Sunday, that's the day when spring returns and the snow melts. 64 degrees. We also spring forward. Don't forget about that. Dry for most of the first half of next week and warm well above average. So we'll go from winter to spring pretty quickly here. 70s still in the forecast for Wednesday. Mostly cloudy skies, so a little gloomy looking, but hey, at least we're still getting the 70s right now. Now keep in mind those numbers might fluctuate, changing around just a little bit. So pretty nice forecast for us. So make sure to spend some time outside next week. And as for today, stay safe, take it slow still, and just bundle up if you can. Great advice right there. All right. Thank you very much, Brittany.